So Dan, what are we standing in front of here today? We're standing in front of the AT-6 Wolverine. It's uh, a light attack airplane that combines a 1600 shaft horsepower engine that you see behind me, uh, coupled with a propeller able to get all that power from it, a proven airframe and proven avionics to provide a great deal of uh, overwatch uh, surveillance capability and light attack uh, when that's required. What updates do you have here at the Paris Air Show? Well, primarily, uh, we are working through the process of our initial order of the United States Air Force to get three of the airplanes into their hands and let them continue the experimentation that was started in 2017 and done extensively in 2018. Those three airplanes will be delivered to Nellis Air Force Base, and we're really excited to be working with them as they explore uh, deeper and deeper the capabilities of this fine airplane behind me. So considering this, what's the future then for the Wolverine? It looks very promising. You know, we've been showing the airplane around a lot. The Air Force has actually invited a lot of foreign countries to come and have a look at the airplane, up to 55, I think, over 2017 and 18. Uh, once they have that in their own inventory, then that really clears the way for a greater and greater foreign military sales. Perfect. And what benefits do you think this has over the competition? Well, we got to see firsthand the difference in power that the combination of the engine and the propeller uh, made between the two different uh, competitors out there. Our takeoff rolls are short even in high, hot, heavy conditions. The climb is rapid and the acceleration is fast. That was uh, unexpected, but that was a good thing for us to be able to see. This also, also leverages a common heritage and 85% parts commonality with nearly a thousand airplanes that are out there, including the sole primary trainer in the Air Force and the Navy. So can you tell us a bit more about the iStar capabilities? Absolutely. There's an L3 Westcam MX-15 uh, sensor turret uh, located on the center of the airplane. Provides a full electro-optical and infrared uh, tracking and uh, target attack capability. It's got three hard points on each uh, wing, which provides uh, up to 600-pound laser-guided bomb capability, rockets, bullets, multiple uh, fuel tanks, whatever you'd like to put on it. So, so airplane's got tremendous capacity to sit up and watch for a long time, and if uh, kinetic engagement is required, to deliver a punishment.